But let me tell you what my definition of an intellectual is. It's people just like me and you, except they believe there's life on other planets. <laughs> Even if they don't believe it, they act like they do. <laughs> See, people with common sense like you and I, we know there's no life on other planets. It's just us. <laughs> if there was life on other planets, we'd have sent them some foreign aid by now. <laughs> and see, let me, I'm, let me just, I'm gonna, I'll get back to what I was talking about, let me take a detour here. And I know there's a lot of you in the room right now who believe, they, you genuinely believe that there's a life form out there more intelligent than us. Because if you believe in UFOs, that's what you believe. Because a lot of people believe in that, that we've been visited by UFOs. They hang around for a day or two and go back. I mean, come on now. We've been tracking them since 1947. Don't you find it odd that these super intelligent beings have the technology to go tens of millions of miles from wherever they're at, down here to visit us, hang out for a few days, go back, never refuel or nothing. <laughs> and nobody notices them. Now let's just look at that practically. Let's say that there is life on other planets. And they promised their kids a trip. <laughs> it's a long weekend coming up. Oh, let's say Labor Day. <laughs> and they say, hell, we'll go to Earth. <laughs> and they're out in the driveway loading up the spaceship with the stuff they'll need. Bucket of chicken. Tater salad. Fuzzbuster. <laughs> well, you know they're going to be speeding. And the dad says to all the kids, all right, kids, if y'all got to pee, you better pee now. I'm not stopping every planet we come to. <laughs> and they take off and they come all this way. Don't you think just once, since 1947, just once, wouldn't they have landed maybe in Orlando, seen Disney World or something? <laughs> Times Square, the Grand Canyon, but no. They always land next to a hog pen in Arkansas. 